they are the key of the energy transition. Citizens have to make the energy transition towards renewables and towards a clean and just world. So last week, the European Commission issued the European Long-Term Climate Strategy. It says many things, but uh, the, the main message is that it's perfectly doable and it's the right thing to do to basically move to net zero emissions by 2050. What we're discussing today is the role that citizens, and in particular local energy communities, can play within this. It's an important potential for the development of renewables on, on rooftops, on, on agricultural warehouses, etc. But it's also about a new model where we see uh, a lot of uh, uh, smart energy energy uh, citizens installation with high added value in terms of local jobs in uh, in installation in operation in maintenance etc so it's it's really about a new model it can be individuals that can be SMEs that can be local authorities saying that they want to produce their own energy for example on local level or on a regional level and uh, have it based on renewables that can be cooperatives for example all the energy cooperatives there are, they are these local and citizen energy communities uh, they are the future of that because what we need is to decentralize uh, energy, make it more democratic and put it in the hands of uh, citizens. Local energy communities should be a bit broader, should not only be about cooperatives and it should include as well the DSO perspective there where the integration of renewables is very expensive in order to let it be the first step towards creating a customer engagement that would allow in that cooperation to reduce uh, the cost of integrating renewables. And these uh, citizens energy models are very important to enable the energy transition. Why? Because they represent an important potential for the development of renewable energies, but also because uh, they, will, they will fit into a new uh, decentralized system and they can provide additional flexibility, in particular uh, when you see that, for example, in the photovoltaic sector, you have more and more installations that are installed with a storage uh, battery, so they, they can really uh, provide additional flexibility to support the energy transition. We all have to step in and we know that the solution won't come from the big companies that are well with fossil fuels. They will come from the hand of citizens that they want to make and have renewables, 100% renewables in Europe.